Hi, everybody. This is Rich Formadoni from Casio. I'm here with my good friends at Craft Music to tell you all about the Privia PXS 3000 Digital Piano. Along with the PXS 1000, the PXS 3000, which is its big brother, represent an evolution in the Privia line. When Privias were first introduced in 2003 with the PX100, the goal was to provide an instrument that was modern looking, stylish, very authentic in terms of piano sound and feel, affordable, and extremely compact and portable. The PXS 1000 and 3000 take all of those goals to the next level, and the PXS 3000 provides tons of stuff that you would never expect in the digital piano. All it takes is one look at the PXS 3000 and you know it's something a little bit different. It's a sleek unibody case with a glossy top panel that evokes a traditional grand piano in a case that's barely larger than the keys themselves. In fact, the PXS 1000 and 3000 are the slimmest digital pianos in the world and they weigh in at just under 25 pounds. That's pretty amazing considering how great the key action feels and how great it sounds. Uh, in fact, I was carrying this piano in to the office here under one arm and people kept asking me if I needed help and I said, no, I really don't. It's extremely lightweight, easy to carry around. In fact, we have an optional gig bag for this instrument that has backpack straps. Imagine wearing a piano on your back. Well, now you can. Since we're talking about how portable it is, I also want to mention that even though it comes with an AC adapter, you can power the PXS 3000 with six AA batteries. That's pretty amazing. Like the PXS 1000, the piano sound on the PXS 3000 is a beautiful nine foot German grand with long natural decay times, and it's inherited some technology from the grand hybrid family of pianos, which of course are also available at Kraft Music. You'll hear mechanical sounds of the keys being played and released, sympathetic string resonance, damper resonance, and you'll even hear the felts rising off the strings when you press the damper pedal. In addition to the piano, the PXS 3000 has a total of 700 sounds covering every category of instrument you could want. Organs, electric pianos, guitars, drums, you name it, there's a great representation of that instrument in the PXS 3000. There's also a collection of 200 rhythms built in that span the history of recorded music and music from around the globe. We're not just talking about basic rhythms like you might expect. You're actually going to hear things in here that you would want to cover if you were doing a one-man band situation, stuff that you might hear on the radio as well. Another really impressive aspect of the PXS 3000 is its effects system. There are a hundred different effects algorithms with chorus, flanger, delay, all kinds of modulation and uh, ambience effects, and there's amplifier models, there's wah pedal models, there's all kinds of obsessively tweakable things in here. And you can control all that using these two assignable knobs that are on the left side of the instrument. 
you can assign these two knobs in pairs. So for example, if I have them set to filter, this one will be cutoff and this one is resonance. If I go up to amp envelope, this one is attack and this one is release. If I move to vibrato, this will be rate and this will be depth. So no matter what you want to be able to do to the sound, chances are you can do it with these two knobs right here. There's also an expression pedal jack on the back of the PXS3000, which is great for controlling things like organ volume. There's a sound mode button right here. If you push it once, you get our hall simulator, which gives you four different types of ambient spaces in which you can hear your performance. If you push it a second time, you get surround mode. When you're seated in front of the instrument, surround mode gives you the feeling of the sound coming at you from multiple directions. It's a really cool effect. The PXS3000 has a built-in three-track recorder, so you can record a left-hand part and a right-hand part, or record using the built-in rhythms, solo on top of them, and then you can save your performance as a WAV file on a USB stick plugged into the USB Type-A port in the back. There's also a USB Type-B port, which is class compliant and connects you to everything, Mac, PC, iOS, or Android. Speaking of iOS and Android, the PXS3000, just like its little brother, works with the Cordana Play for Piano app. That gives you remote control of the piano and all of its functions. It gives you a MIDI player, which is great for educational uses, a PDF score viewer so you can read sheet music. There's also an audio player that lets you take audio that's stored on your device, speed it up or slow it down without affecting the pitch, or adjust the pitch without affecting the tempo, and you can cancel out melody or the rest of the band in case you just want to hear the melody. It's great for learning your favorite songs. There's a bunch of great videos from Kraft Music, including a dedicated tutorial on the Cordana Play for Piano app. So make sure you check that out for more details. The PXS3000 sounds great thanks to its built-in speakers, which are very powerful, but also very compact. They're ported in the back and in the front, so they sound great when you're seated in front of the instrument, they sound great to your audience, it sounds great when it's right up against a wall or in an open space like this. Pretty much, it sounds great anywhere. There's also two quarter-inch line outputs, which connect you to the rest of the world. Hook it up to a mixer, an amplifier, pretty much whatever you want. That makes the PXS3000 a terrific stage instrument, as well as something that's great to have at home. There's also an eighth of an inch line input, which you can connect to your favorite device, or you can simply turn on Bluetooth. The PXS3000 has Bluetooth audio in, so you can play your favorite music from your phone through the built-in speakers. It's gonna sound better than whatever Bluetooth speakers you got lying around the house, and it's the only one that lets you join the band. This is the top panel of the PXS3000 when it's powered off. As you can see, it's a really sleek, glossy black surface. In fact, you can even see a little reflection from the ceiling there. It is scratch resistant and looks great in any decor. There's a volume knob and the one physical button here is the power button, which I'm gonna press now. And so now you get to see the controls reveal themselves. There's a lot of fun stuff to do on a PXS3000 and this LCD screen holds your hand through the whole process. Over here, you're controlling rhythms and accompaniment, and you can go into song mode. 
And if you notice, the controls are context aware. The ones that are over here when they're not needed will simply disappear depending on what you're doing. Over here, you've got your up and down buttons. Tempo control, you can do tap tempo. Here's that sound mode button that lets you select between hall simulator and surround sound and record button for the built-in MIDI recorder. This function button right here changes what the controls on the right do. On the top row, we're selecting sounds by category. On the next row, we're uh, selecting rhythms. One row down, and you have control. This is where I can modify my effects, transpose, split, layer, adjust what the knobs do, and turn on and off my arpeggiator. If I want to do something like modify the effects, I just hold down the button that says DSP, and now I can do that using the buttons that are now arrows, and enter and exit. You can see the arrow buttons will change back to plus and minus when we exit out. One row down, and these are our registrations. So you have 24 banks of four registrations. That's 96 locations where you can save your favorite sounds, rhythms, effects, and settings so that you can call them up instantly on a gig. If you want to focus purely on your playing, you can set the PXS 3000 so the panel lights dim after a set amount of time. You can bring them back again with the touch of a button. This control row gives me a lot of options. I can split the keyboard. I can also layer sounds. If I hold down the split button, I can choose a split point by touching a key. I can also turn on and off the built-in arpeggiator. If I hold down DSP, I can modify what the effects are doing. In this particular case, I've got two of the four possible effects going at once, a phaser and a tremolo. If I press enter to modify the phaser, I can adjust things like resonance, the manual position, rate and depth, waveform, so you can really get in and modify these effects to your liking. As you can tell, the PXS 3000 is great for playing at home, but it's also terrific as a stage instrument. With that in mind, we have a couple of accessories that make it fit either position perfectly. The CS68 matching wooden stand gives the PXS 3000 a nice furniture appeal that looks great in any home. The optional three pedal unit is a freestanding portable pedal that gives you soft sostenuto and sustain, all the things you would need for an authentic classical or jazz performance with half dampering capability. The bag that I mentioned earlier can fit the PXS 3000, the sheet music rest, the power supply, and that SP34 three pedal unit. All of these accessories are available in bundles at Kraft Music.
That is a quick look at the Privia PXS 3000. For more information, please feel free to contact a sales advisor at Kraft Music via phone, email, or live chat. Once again, I'm Rich Formadoni from Casio. Thanks for watching.